the most important thing is your DNA because everybody's going to activate. It's not like, uh, well, only the ones who are doing the practice. And, and what it is, is that the energy, you, you have to have like an insulated consciousness for what you're going to then see. Does that make sense to you? So again, like if anybody's ever been in another frequency before, you take a few breaths, you know, you start to perceive that, you know, there's another wavelength here, another film, another world, if you may. That is activation. I want to make it as simple as possible. As you're activated, you're able to see more things. If you just want to know what activation is, it's seeing. Your eyes are open. You see more things. So in this process, when you get activated, you'll see everything. Because what is the truth? The truth is that you cannot be lied to. So if the world, if that we're looking at, we can't see everything that is here. That means we're naturally being lied to. Do you understand? Uh, you got to understand this. Like, this is a lie. And it was built by some thieves. They stole some RNA from another star called a sun. And they built their micro world with that. And they're going to have to pay for that. And a process of that payment is that the activation is going to come and it's going to hit the whole thing. And because they're not in alignment, that will be their judgment. And for the beings that were made from that star, which are all of the beings that are souls in the prism here, then they will get their day to stand in the face of the sun. And if you are on point, then you will not run. Whenever this happens, if it happens next year, if it happens 10 years, if it happens in a thousand years, you will be there. And instead of running, you will walk right into it because you'll walk and you'll step right into your truth. And that's the shortest I can actually present to you the ultimate of what all this is going on and what it's all about. Obviously, there's a lot of backstories and drama. But these are the things that are most important. What are you actually doing? You, you're preparing your body for the activation because activation is going to happen. And why folks are not preparing their bodies for the activation. Now, when I say prepare your body, this doesn't mean that, you know, you come out beefcake. <laughs> and that you just go and start working out at the gym or whatever, like prepare my body for the activation. You know, there are different bodies here, <laughs> right? So the physical one being the one of least, but you do need to, you know, that's your camel, basically. You're riding in on this thing. So of course you want to do what we're going to do today to it, but still make sure that inside you, your consciousness, are you ready for the truth? And to stand in the truth, because also remember, the truth gives you power. So you should not have fear. You're not going to be stepping into something and it's like, ah, what is that? Those demons, those creatures. That's actually more of a reflection from the physical body, not the soul. The soul is used to that kind of stuff. But again, if you're still mostly in your body, though, because you're like, you're just, you're whirling, you get caught up in anxiety. What am I going to do? And all this kind of stuff. It's like, and you're, you're like letting your own fortress be broken down by the things that are going on around you. Right. That's what, that's what we don't want. That's what we prepare for. That's why we train. So all of this that we've been doing is training to activate the, for the ultimate activation, even when a person activates, this is why you notice when people activate, they deactivate again. I've been through part of so many activation and deactivation. I began to think this is a natural process. You activate, you be on, you can see other frequencies, you can talk to certain aspects of self, etc. And then next day you fucking make a French toast. <laughs> Come on. I mean, wow. In real stuff, like some folks, you know, they, they got stories and stuff, man. If you want it, it's real. Like there, there are things that could take you right there. And now you realize that, well, maybe I, this, so that's not what this is. This is not trying to prove that this world exists. There's things that could take you right to these spaces. This is about training to deal with that space permanently because here's the last thing. The body is temporary. So once the body is gone, 
you're going to be dealing with a full activation anyway. That's what the whole trick of this is. Like they want to make it like, ah, oh, you got to do all this to the back. Man. No, activation is guaranteed. The moment the body comes off because it is the lie, it is not showing you the whole thing. That's what's doing it. It's the actual organs and the archons and all the rest of the stuff that was built from the harnessing the power of this star that they did, that they stole. And this comes out later on as the birthright, you know, them still in the birthright and all sorts of weird stuff that doesn't interpret that way in the spiritual scriptures because the spiritual scriptures we're reading were written by Masons. But the original text, they explain this proficiently when you ask yourself, why am I doing this? Remember, yo, because that activation is coming, yo. And if it's actually remember I said whether it happens for 10 years in a thousand years, actually, it's very specific. It's max at the end of your life. Now we know you could go through these activations that I said before, like you activate, then you turn off. You could go through these like test activations through this life. But the ultimate one is guaranteed. So nobody's like, <laughs> that's what I say, yo, don't rush the activation. Cause that would be like rushing to die. Like y'all are ready to die. That's what Big said. Hopefully he was ready. <laughs> but I'm just saying like this thing is so the truth is so exact. Everybody is experiencing. So once you're once you're connected into the truth, into the awareness of what's happening, it's like you you do become the truth for real. Like it's like you know something. Yo, I'm the truth. Okay. <laughs> Being the truth is is gonna be a total activation. So that's that's why liars they can't be the truth. You see how that that works. Right. So it's like, oh, they're liars. The father of lies. That's what I say. Because they, they, it's just meaning that they cannot see the whole reality of the thing. And that also means that it's not about judging someone else, because some of us find ourselves in that same position. <laughs> we run around, can't see the truth. <laughs> and so but at least we have what is called the repentance in the military. When a drill sergeant's marching you and they say repent, they just mean turn around and go in the other direction. So all this means is that this backwards ass upside down world and all of its weirdness that it's been teaching, all we got to do is turn that 180 degrees and we'll know what to do. At the end of the day, and we are, it already, everything is already in motion. So nigga activation gonna, gonna, gonna to level around this bitch. And that's the plan. What we are about the business now is awakening.